same store different town let's head into the walmart here in lebanon virginia I haven't hunted this one in a little while let's go in here this morning let's see what they got let's see what they got on clearance first we got the iron man armory thing down there i've seen that as low as 60 bucks at 70 here 20 dollars for dungeons and dragons huh? 61 for a mandalorian helmet Here's an internal for $10. Ajax. And Ajax. $10 Marvel Legends, that's not bad. Even though it's Eternals. Oh, we got some stock boxes. What do we got here? Creative Play, Creative Play. Uh, Godzilla and Kong. Godzilla Evolved figure. And uh, Mattel. Uh, Jurassic World. Little People Bus. Disney. Alright, don't see anything too sexy and exciting there. Let's go down. Where is the action figure aisle? This is it. Pizza Fire Vans up there. Some Transformers. That sludge. Pizza Fire Vans. Still 40 bucks here. So far, that one Walmart's the only one I've seen. A clearance price. Or not really a clearance price, but a reduced price on the Pizza Fire Van. Now there's Mikey's. He's seven bucks. Now I wonder why he's more expensive than Leo. He's showing 15. Leo's showing seven. I picked up a Leo figure there. He's not bad. And Mikey, if he was seven bucks, I would get. We may scan him just to make sure. Looks like the big turtles got marked down here too, but they don't have any of those left. There's Ray Filet up there. And somebody behind him, Bebop. Let's see if we happen to have a Genghis here or if they're all Tweedles. I think they're all Tweedles. Mm, what else we got? Movie stars. There's Shredder. Always good to see a sexy Shredder. We'll take a picture of Shredder. I can put him in a thumbnail. There's Ray Filet. Oh, that's the aggravating part when these things are full to the end of the peg. You can't look at them. Um, Red Filet, Mondo Gecko, that's a turtle. That's Baxter, Baxter, Baxter. Mikey, turtles. These are all, oh, man, they got a buttload of the movie turtles. Let's stick the Shred Dude and the Baxter back up on these pegs. And what else we got? Jurassic Park, still got some old Rose there. Got Jessica Drew and MJ. That's an old one. Vulcan. I still got Strucker and the Orb. That's actually, I'm going to scan those. It'd be cool if those ended up being on clearance. That's was the two I wanted from that wave that I didn't end up getting. <laughs> that would work out, wouldn't it? Titan Hero stuff. Got some Dinos. Got the Superman, some Titans wave, Black Lightning. There's a clearance here on the multiverse. Uh, there is Captain Adam still back there. Duke Thomas. Check that out. I actually saw him at another Walmart here a while back. We're going to scan him. I'll put these two back up there after I scan Captain Adam. Black Lightning is probably definitely... They've got another one there. I assume that would be for Green Lantern. But let's just see what they got down here. Superman, Batman, Blackest Night. Man, these Superman figures have made a resurgence about everywhere. The one in Abingdon had a bunch of uh, Blackest Night figures. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, Batman page puncher. I completely off kilter there. Uh, I saw that gold label and got excited. It's just Black Lightning. Oh, no Robin, or no... Um, Green Lantern left over. Here's some build -a figures Death Storm, Death Storm, Batman, Superman. It's probably a page, but oh, it's Black Lantern. And Raven is the one in the main bottom. Old, look there, clearance. Full price. Clearance. Full price. I was marked down a couple of bucks. Uh, again, those are $3, the Johnson City ones. I'm hoping that means they're getting ready to clear theirs out. Still $19 for the Batmobile here. That's a little. Excessive. Every place else has got it down to at least 10. What we got in 
Macro Galaxy. No hitters. 550 for your flash figures here. A bunch of Moss Man. A whole bunch of Moss Man. There's some more superpowers up there. I got several little bundles of them here. Let's see what we got over here. Security Droid, Fifth Brother, Leia, Fifth Brother, Lando. And some more Landos and Leia's back in there. There's Chopper. Ezra, Ahsoka, Ahsoka. Who's this one? Fennec, Shard. Oh, Death, Watch, Mandalorian. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that one before. I don't know if these are new or old. Yeah, I know the Lando's been out for a while. Bless his heart, nobody wants him. I think I've seen that one before, too. What do we got here? Oh, Eddie Kingsdons, Jericho's, Walmart exclusives, Boba Fett's, uh, the almighty Bobby Lashley. They got any Ultimates? They got some down here. They got Alexa Bliss. Oh, they got an old Andre. Oh, I haven't seen Andre in a hot minute. older ultimate figure let's see eddie kingston eddie kingston eddie kingston eddie kingston hangman page hangman page yep that's all eddie kingston stuff back in there roman reigns doesn't look like too much exciting on the wrestling front some older stuff macho typhoon million dollar man honky tonk man do they have the new two packs Looks like just Big E and Bobby Lashley. What's up there? Power Rangers. Stone Cold is a pickup truck. Uh, we got Baroness. Ooh, about knocked over that little box. And Lady J. Over in the video game side of things. Uh, not seeing too much exciting or different. Got Zed back there's a Samus. I do have a Samus Aran. We got Link, Donkey Kong, Sonic, Fortnite, Poppy Playtime. Oh, well, they got a white Poppy. I haven't seen that one. Oh, that's like a rare variant. I've seen a white and a gold and a blue one. In my recent travels. I don't see anything else here. Let's see, there's XB97 small figures. I don't think I saw those earlier. We're still going to scan Captain Adam. Let's head over. Find the diecast. Here's some overflow. Got Transformers. Bunch of Transformers. Spider Man, Monopoly. Anything back around the bicycles here? Gotta check this little section. We found some. Stuff in some other stores. Doesn't look like they got anything here. There must be the little overflow section for here. Let's go check out what they got in the wide world of diecast. Uh, that's kind of cool. It's almost like an A-team band. It's just a different color. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Holly. check out a second there and talk to a fellow diecast collector actually he's a lot more in tune with the diecast stuff than i am he was looking for the what is was that 118 i guess i don't really know uh, oh there's that bootlegger truck i haven't seen that thing in a while oh man it's beat all the crap that was a cool looking diecast let's make sure they don't have that major bruiser down here don't see it nothing up there. there's a challenger up there dodge that's kind of looks kind of shop batmobiles returns nah and then when i was off camera the star wars stuff oh here it is all of it is red top so no choice have they got any Monster Jam? They do, they have a lot. 
But they're all series. Is that 33s? Nope, 32s. 31s, 32s, 31, 32s. Oh well. And once again, we'll find the grease trap eventually. Maybe, one of these days. There's Godzilla up there, an oversized truck. Oh, they got some monster. Is that Monster Jam or Hot Wheels? That is Hot Wheels. And what do we got down here to round us out? Hey, here's a different Porsche. Number two. Huh. So they got two, three, and four. You got any more? Doesn't look like it. That's cool to see a different one. I haven't seen that one yet. And our regular Hot Wheels is kind of bare. So, yeah. <laughs> That's going to do it, guys. I'm going to look around. If I do see anything. Oh, there's Godzilla and Kong stuff. Ooh, minifigures. There we go. Big Kong. <laughs> Scar King. Don't see any more of the line, though. But I think that's going to wrap us up for the toy section, guys. If I do see anything else, I will turn the camera back on and show it to you. If I don't, then I will see you at the next. So what have we got here? Um, that's cool. Gauntlet Fighter. Bo-Katan's Gauntlet Fighter. I mean, a TIE Fighter. Let's take a look at that thing. I haven't seen that before that I can remember. I may have. I don't know. That's pretty cool looking. All right, so once again, we're going to sign off. If I see anything else, I'll turn the camera back on and show it to you. If not, see you at the next one. A look at their collector section. It's not a huge one by any means. We'll see what they got. Three good figures there. There's Soul Crusher, the Male Alien, Sanderson Sister. Uh, they got the G.I. Joe Ultimates. I'm not going to flip through those. She-Ra on Softwind. And then some Pops, Plushies. You got a thing down there. Is that... Oh, Ultimate McCready, older King Kong one. Oh, there's the Turtle three pack or Turtles three two packs. There's Leo and Mikey, and then Raph and Donnie. I'm trying to get a glare-free picture. What's back behind there? Roku and Human Shredder. Or Shredder is always a human, but non-Shredder Shredder and Human Splinter. That's cool. The Office three pack. And you got a, oh, that's on clearance too. The Which one's on clearance? Is it Iron Man or Pennywise? We're going to scan those. If Iron Man's on clearance, he might be another pickup. We found that other one 15 bucks this morning. That's pretty cool. But we see anything else back here, I'll show it to you. If not, that's going to do it. Walmart, Abingdon, Virginia. Let's head in here and see what they got for us this morning. Still on a vampire hunt and for anything else we might gonna happen to find. Hmm. Let's hunt Walmart. What have we got going on here in wrestling? Wardlow's. Kingsdon's. Still got a AWC and Punk. There's Bianca, Kurt Angle, Bobby. I mean, they got a lot of the new Ultimates. Um, Stone Cold and his pickup truck. Stone Cold and his pickup truck. There he is. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at this, two. Two more of the Chase Hogan's. The blue boots. That was hard to find at one time. This is like the, uh, Lord have mercy, I found four of them, I think, so far. Right there's two. We're gonna take a picture of that. I need to start time stamping these. People are gonna think I'm just recycling the same old picture over and over. What else they got? Million Dollar Man. Roddy Piper's a good one. I like to find the newest wave of these things. There's blue. Holy crap, there's another one. Three of these things. There's no way. There is no way. No way. No way. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Four of these Chase Hogan's. I always heard those were hard to find. They must be starting to come around. I think that's eight of those things in total that I found but four of the chases in this one store. Well, that's an awesome way to start the, this, this hunt anyways. 
I'll have to find somebody to position those things. Took a picture. That's got to go on the thumbnail. There's Moss Man. The Albano figure is cool. And there's a Vader back in there. I like to find the newest wave of those. You have Hogan, Doink, and Andre. And there's a Chase Hogan in that one as well. I think this was the first Walmart I found that Hogan in. They got the Snake Man. There's Sweeze. Um, Lady J, and I can already tell you, look at behind me, they don't have Empire Robin. They only have one multiverse figure. <laughs> I'm assuming there's a restock coming. I just gotta look for some stock boxes. They may have some stuck around here somewhere. Uh, Diddy Kong. They got Donkey Kong. There's Samus. There's a Shy Guy. The Shy Guy's pretty cool, too. They got... Some of these. What else we got here? Poppy Playtime. We've already seen a bunch of that this morning. I wonder how many different variations there are of Huggy. I've seen Smiling, Scary, a white version, a gold version. We got most of the same ones we've been seeing here. I don't think any different. There's the white one again. And then down here we got our Pokemon. Look at all the Pokemon cards. We got a rollback on those. All kinds of Pokemon stuff. And there's the figures there behind that pole. And it's a clearance on up there. See, roll back. <laughs> Transformers. Robots in disguise. Coronation Starscream. St Studio 105. It's Mirage. Okay, I saw him up there. I was wondering what that was. Uh, any of these guys on clearance? Where the big guys are. Pizza Fire Van, $40 here as well. Well, let's see if they've got two different color variations. There's Bebop, ain't seen him in a while. Leatherface, Leatherhead, whatever his name is. Leatherhead, not Leatherface. Leatherface is a chainsaw wielding psychopath. I don't see Genghis here. No. Nope. What do we got down through here? Got Mondo Gecko. He's behind there. Splint Splinter, April. Man, they got some good stuff this morning. Genghis. And that. Haven't seen Splinter in quite a while. That's pretty cool. What do we got down through here? In our Legends. Still got Matt Murdock and MJ. Wonder Man. That's an older one. Photon's still hanging out back there. She's been at this one for a while. We found him multiple times at Ross. I think I saw him at, uh, yeah, I know I saw him at um, Burlington as well as I found that whole wave there. Once upon a time. Black Panther, a little basic figure. Got Wolverine and Cyclops hanging out there. Those little small scale X-Men 97s. And they got some more clearance bat wings and Batmobiles. That Flash, that right there, I think, is the nicest figure in the entire Superpowers line so far. Batman who laughs. Haha. -ha. Caught you dark side. Or dark side. Oh my lord. Deathstroke. That's embarrassing. There's another flash up there. Um I still got a bunch of those Batman. Uh I least got some of these all let me build the figures. Raven, Raven. Batman, Batman. Batman, Nightwing, Batman, Batman. Now they have the black and white Black Adam back in the clearance section for $7. That's probably the best deal out of things that I buy. I saw back in that clearance. I didn't film back there. Again, they didn't have a whole lot to show. But There's a Micro Galaxy up top. They got anything else? Nope, that's the only one. But where's Micro Galaxy? Let's see what they got here. TIE Fighter. Those are all that one with the red fin. There's a TIE Fighter. TIE Fighter. Um, newer Black Series. Not the newest wave. It's got Star Killer and all of them in it. There's Rock. Rook. Whatever you say his name. It's pretty cool looking. I realize I didn't have the camera really pointed at him, so I apologize for that. All right, guys, the hitter of this one. Right there, you got them. Four Blue Boots Hogans. One, two, three, 
and four so pretty cool let's go check out some die casts if we can find anything there if i do i'll let you see it if i don't i'll see you at the next one on a turn of events this went from being freezing cold to moderately warm and getting ready to start raining so <laughs> but anyways let's not let that damper us let's go into ross and let's see what they got and back here on the pegs they still got the gundams and these little transformer things and mario but nothing different I looked up front, the front basket. They had a couple of Power Rangers. I couldn't film though, because they're pretty crowded up front, so. And they're also in Bristol. I've gotten these things in again. These Dragon Ball two packs. Pretty sure that's the ones we were seeing pretty regular through Christmas. What is this? Manhood. One piece. That looks like a different style box for anime statues. I don't know. One of those Batman Joker things that fell on the floor. Another one down there we can look at. Um, there's one of the Batman Adventure Spin Master thingies for $8.99. There's still $20 at a lot of uh, Walmarts. And I don't remember seeing this thing in Walmart or Target. I mean, I may have. That's not something I heavy duty pay attention to. Oh, they got one of these things again, the Mantis. This thing looks cool, I'll say that, but I got one of those, maybe it's just mine. I didn't really like it. It wouldn't stand up hardly at all. The legs are kind of bent in together a little bit, but again, maybe mine was just messed up in the box. I don't know. Anybody else had any issues with that thing? Let me know. There's a Giganito, Dilophosaurs, Power Ranger Swords, a Flash. There's a big old Grandista. I don't know who that character is. That's a good size statue. 15 bucks. <laughs> Goku Black. Goku. That sounds familiar. Oh, uh, well. Well, mine did get a restock. They got a Mantis Halo. And then they've got the Gundams and the Batman stuff here. But no X Men figures or G.I. Joe. Ours one was 4D. I saw these things at Target. Spider-Man. I wonder how these, these things do all right. Anybody got these little boogers? They're paper, aren't they? Puzzle model kit. $8. I would consider that if there wasn't a huge line up front. I don't really want to wait all the way through it for this. Where was the price at? We'll take a picture of that to show that it's showing up at Ross. But I think that's going to do it, everybody. And they got Lola's and stuff back here. Let's take a look down this little aisle. Make sure nobody said anything cool. Off to the side. Harry Potter. Games HQ. I'm not seeing anything else, everybody. Who else going to do it? If I do find anything else, I will show it to you. If I don't, then we'll see you at the next stop. All right, people, stuff just got serious. I got a hot tip. There is a vampire robin at this Walmart. Let's run in and see if there is still a vampire robin at this Walmart. Okay, we're here at the beginning of the toy aisle. I can't get down to the multiverse too much because we're stocking right now. So we're gonna give that dude time to clear out because as usual, I don't want to get in the employee's way. Ooh, they got the remote control Godzilla. There's no way, is that $45 here? Well, it's only $45. I'm pretty sure that was 60 bucks at Target. Oh, it's gonna be tempting right there. <laughs> There's the crystal. Oh, they got this little set too. I'm telling you guys, I like the Kong figures in this line. I'm not crazy about Godzilla. This is a good price for these things though. 1896, I think it was 1847. The, I got the other one. The prices are all over the place on this stuff. But there they got the crystal 624 and they got those marked right. And then these right here for less than $10. I mean, I might get this Godzilla to go with my Kong. Because I've got this King Kong and then I've got the King Kong in this scale. Okay, there's Genghis one color. Let's see if they got a different colored Genghis. I don't think they've got another Genghis, at least here. Wingnut, Gecko, Wingnut, Gecko, Genghis Frog. Oh, what's 
see if I can get him down out of here without destroying everything. Oh, come on, Genghis. You're almost there, buddy. Well, those are the same color. I need to look them up and determine what the difference is so I'll know if I see it or not without having to get everything out. But yeah, we're not taking pictures, are we? We need to take pictures. There's that one. Ah, oh, the big Godzilla. So got, oh, they got a different fuckler. They got Donnie and Leo. So that's pretty cool. I got a little too excited about that. <laughs> Those things are not for me. I would not buy these, but they're cool to look at. And again, they're only eight bucks. You can't knock them too bad for that. Oh, guys, I see Owl Man, and I think I see Robin. If I can just get down to them. A bunch of these. He's actually cleaned his owl up pretty good if he's the one that's done this. There's Mark II, Black Widow still, Camp. Um, more turtles. Yep, there's Robin. And there's somebody coming to the other side of the aisle. So we're going to snag him. How many have they got? They got one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ow, here comes the owl, man. Let's get up through here. People are coming. Excuse me. Oh, yes, but the gold labels. Well, let's try to peek here at the rest of the aisle. And again, superpowers, three bucks. Good sign they're getting rid of them. Now let's move down here, guys. I'm not seeing anything too different. And again, we don't want to get in anybody's way, and they're trying to clean and work. So, is there going to be another blue boots? Nope. <laughs> Found four of those blue boots. Four blue boots Hogan's in one store. There is scrap iron, shipwreck, anything with Destro, Lady J. Okay. I guess they're taking this stuff to clearance. I don't know. I would ask, but I don't want to be aggravating. And uh, we're about to cut it off, guys. I can't really show anything else, but they got Owlman, they got Robin, they got some cool Godzilla stuff. So let's go back up through here and figure out what we're gonna buy. Oh, Walmart, I saw that clearance for full price now one reason i'm filming the clearance aisle is back in toys that dude is pulling all the old stuff off the shelves he said that he didn't want some for sure but he thought all of that was going to be put on clearance so they got a lot of stuff that's going to be hitting clearance in this walmart so we're going to be checking this one probably again before the end of the week and i always come here on saturday morning so Maybe we'll catch you some clearance deals. I couldn't really tell what Nolly had. And again, I didn't want to get in his way. But we found Vampire Robin. We found some cool Godzilla stuff. Um, that's what sucked. I found Vampire Robin and I couldn't really react about it and get excited in the toys aisle. There's so many people around. But hey, we found it. But let's get out of here. If I do see anything else, I'll show it to you. If I don't, then we'll see you at the next one. And here we are at Overfield Trash Can. Nope, we're at Ross. Let's run into the Ross here in Greenville and let's see if maybe they got some of the X-Men figures, maybe something restocked. Hmm? Well, let's see what we've got. We got all these Dragon Ball single figures. I don't think these were here last time. Super Saiyan Bardock, that green haired guy. Super Saiyan Cobra. Uh, don't know who these guys are. Don't know if those are good, bad, or ugly. Let me know in the, oh, look here. I haven't seen these at Ross before. I don't remember if I've seen anybody else find them. But phase two clone troopers holiday editions, $5.99. Look like gingerbread men, I guess. Look at the little grenade. I guess those are grenades. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Anything else down through here? Uh, don't see anything. Or Siren, the patron hostess of Ross throughout the Christmas season. Well, there's some reduced stickers. 549. They got some of those Transformers. That is something that most Ross stores had in great abundance. Through the holiday season, the Transformers. Oh, that's for Lyotsy, anyways. Also, the Optimus there. But he's not got a reduced sticker on him. Yet. <laughs> Still a bunch of pops and anime statues. I got that cool little phone charger thing. The Mandalorian. Uh, still got Cycle Man out here. 
any more of these got reduced stickers on them huh only that one that's weird i don't know if it was opened or something uh, nothing stuck back here so yeah no x-men carded legends and no snake eyes and timbers but we do have some new star wars figures showing up here so that's one thing i guess but i do see anything else i'll let you see it if not then i'll see you at the next one rainy morning in tennessee heading into the bristol tennessee walmart let's go in here and see if they got anything good for us today tennessee walmart what do you got for me this morning they got ratchet and the fallen uh, all kinds of mutant mayhem up there well, they have the light green and dark green gangus <laughs> There's Ratchet. I haven't pointed out already. I may have. I don't remember. Uh, oh, those are turtles. Well, that makes it easy. Well, here they got some. What's behind this? Got Mondo. Scumbug. There's one Genghis. I can't tell if they're different or not. Let's just get them out here and look. Oh, they're suckers. <laughs> And Godzilla and Kong stuff, hey. Oh, that Genghis has got to be in the back, doesn't he? Well, look here. <laughs> we have got the two shades of Genghis. And that's pretty cool. Been trying to find these things and found them both in the same store. I'm not going to buy these. I just kind of wanted to see them. I don't know which one's supposed to be the variant. The light or the dark. I had a lot of people let me know in the comments what the difference was. If you guys are watching, I thank you people for letting me know that. And you were very nice about it. You didn't talk to me like I was an idiot because I didn't know. So, appreciate that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Tried to, been looking for those since I saw that in Seth Bayer's video. I think his buddy Dave was looking for one of them. I don't remember if it was a dark color one or the light color one. But found them both in the same store. There's Donatello and Leo Fugglers. Can't wait till we see uh, Mikey and Raph. Now, somebody was telling me, I think it was Call Me Chewy, said these things have a glow-in-the-dark button on their butts. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Glow-in-the-dark butt on. <laughs> I'm, you, I'm not going to buy those things. They're not for me, but they are fun. Got the big Godzilla and Kong down there, $24 a piece. I got to say, I always brag on the prices of this Godzilla and Kong stuff. These things are the only thing I've seen in that line that are grossly overpriced. I mean, these metal figs are cheaper than these. And those little plastic figures, they're not. And if you look at the crystal here, they come to about there. But six twenty-four, oh no way. The rest of this stuff though is great. I just I wouldn't. I want this Godzilla, but I wish it didn't have the big. I guess it gets hurt in the movie. But I may end up getting a Godzilla Evolved just to go with the Kong that I've got. But we're not going to talk about all that. Let's take a look at the movie stars here and see what we got. Looks like just the four turtles and some Genghis. This Walmart's got some good stock already. It's Infinity Saga, Captain America, and Tom Holland's Spidey. They still got these older legends. They still got Strucker, and they still got Ultron. I'm probably going to scan those two just to make sure they're not clearancing them out yet. And there's Tarantula still hanging out from the Spider-Man. They've got a good assortment of these. Hulk and Thanos. Iron Man. They got Black Panther anywhere. I don't see him. Sam Wilson and Iron Man. There's Death Storm. The three pack Spin Master down there. Got the Turtles. That Batman thing that you can get at Ross for nine bucks. Uh, still got Nightfall Batman. This place had five of him at one point. Last time I was here, they had two. We've seen one already. What's behind Night or Batwing here? There's Black and Gray Hush. Batwing there. Build a Figures, Barbarian Batman. Oh, do they sell the other Night Fall? Oh, nope, here it is. <laughs> that one's actually in decent shape. That one's got a little ding on his hanger, but yep, Night Fall Batman. This would have been the destination to get him if anybody was looking for him. There's a Jim Gordon. I can see it's the black one. It's not the blue platinum. Dark Knights of Steel. And another Batwing up there. Oh, I didn't even look at the Godzilla and Kong metal figs up here. They have this, they got the set. Let's take a picture of those. And we gotta have pictures for thumbnails, so. 
And I'm gonna take a picture of nightfall. There's another bat wing laying there. I'm gonna scan these guys. I don't think they're on clearance. But hey, you never know. Oh, they got these too. Someone had told me these took the place of mission fleet. As far as getting a cheaper option. Oh, they got Sabine. I think Sabine and Paz are the only two they've made so far. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. Not a Star Wars guy. There we go. $15 for these things? I don't know. It's a little pricey for a limited articulation figure. I mean, if Todd McFarlane made that, there'd be calls to drag him out in the street and stone him, but I'm sure people will give Hasbro a little bit of a pass. And they got the winged eagle down there. We'll look at that here in a second. And they got R5-D4. I think that's one of the newer ones, isn't it? I don't remember. I don't know if he's part of that line that's got like Balin and all them. Once again, sorry Star Wars people. I'm not up to speed on the lines and ways of Star Wars figures. I mean, this place is packed this morning. Toys wise, there's no customers in here besides me that I've seen. But they did just open the doors like two minutes ago. There's Kurt Angle, Cassian Andals right there. Who's this? Kurt Angle. So I got a couple of Kurt's up here. It's true. Oh, it's true. And Gujitsu's. my opinion the best version ever of the world wrestling federation title we got two of them that one in the big gold belt from wcw uh, walmart exclusives chris jericho more hangman page uh, that's probably the newest ones that they got I, he hasn't been out that long i don't think doesn't feel like it's been that long he could have been out for months Ultimate Warrior with the coat on. They got any of those new two packs with Logan Pauls and all them. I don't see them. G.I. Joe. Bunch of whole bunch of scrap irons. And down here we got Bianca and Bobby Lashley. Uh, is all we got there? Shipwreck. Yep. They're getting ready to do some work. A lot of the Walmarts right now in my areas are resetting their toy ass sections. And one in Johnson City where I found um, Vampire Robin, they had really, or they were really working on it when I was there the other day. Donkey Kong. Uh, three Donkey Kongs, a bunch of Mario. Link. I guess the more G.I. Joe's up there, but it's either Baroness or Lady J. That's Lady J. I can see the back of the cart up there. So you can see the two blank spots there for Destro and Gung-Ho. Uh -huh, Poppy Playtimes. And they got a buttload of them Rainbow Friends figures. Are they all the blue? There's the green one. And then the red guy with the scientist coat. Uh, a few Pokemon cards. It's about the smallest Pokemon section I've seen in a while. And then we've got Lego. Some rollbacks. What's that one? Groot, $44. He's been 20 bucks in a lot of places. The Final Battle Avengers set's been showing up on clearance, but the ones I've seen it so far, it's clearance for full price. So. All right, let's go check some diecast. Also, took a look back here at these. Ah, they got the minifigures. Well, they got three minifigures. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back and look at this bike section for overflow. And I completely butchered the guy's name who gave me the tip about checking back here. I called him Carlos. Leon, I'm very, very sorry. But Leon, thank you very much for letting me know to look over here. Because some of the stores I go to, they do have some overflow toys back here around, you know, the bikes and the power wheels and stuff. So check your stores to see. But... I felt bad for getting his name. I don't like getting somebody's name wrong. There's a box of... Oh, here, yes, here we go. $70. Got some clearance Lego back here. So, Leon, look, buddy. You're right again. <laughs> Those look like the Sonic. 
Uh, Disney. What is the Sonic one? And there's the, oh, the Technica, this one, I've got that one, put it together, a little Technica Rover. That was pretty cool. 70 bucks, I gave $50 for that thing off eBay when it first came out. What have we got here? Pinata Smashlings, hmm. All right, let's get up here and look at Diecast, Coca-Cola van. This one doesn't carry the Star Wars Man, their big die cast is wiped out. Uh, looks like about the same old thing. Got the Shelby GT one there. I saw a new one of these in the Bristol Walmart. I think it was like a 79 Chevy truck. So already a new wave of those hidden. And they got a bunch of Monster Jams. They got any 33s? 32s, 32s, 32s. Uh, don't see any Series 33 yet. And we got Hot Wheels. Don't see anything too exciting. They got a bunch of Hot Wheels. I got the bin down there at the end of the aisle. There's a box over there in the, around the bicycles, the end cap there. Diecast, well represented this morning, at least a small diecast. All right, everybody, I think that is going to do it. If I do see anything else, I will show it to you. If I don't, then I'll see you the next one. How about we go in this store called Ross here in Bristol, Virginia. Let's just see if they might have anything different today. Let's see, we got army stuff here. Oh, looky here. Avalanche. Oh, here's some more. We got long shot. Multiple man. Phoenix, all in but Wolverine. Oh, wait, no, here we go. Spiral and Wolverine. I got the whole wave again. That's pretty cool. Some more Siren. My Hero Academia. It's kind of like the same old stuff, but yeah, we got the X-Men retro cards here again. Take a look one more time. Our Spiral, Wolverine, Phoenix, Multiple Man, and Longshot. So, yes. Oh, an avalanche. I've already got these things, but still, it's cool to see them here, but let's go see what they got in the back. What have we got back here? Found the whole X-Men retro card wave again, guys. There were a bunch of people up front, so I couldn't really nerd out too loud there, but all of them, as you saw there up front. Oh, looky here. $5.99, man, I paid $9 for this guy on clearance. What else is back here? Beast Man. And it's the same one, yeah, three of them here. $5.99. Check your target or targets. Check your raw stores for these things. I haven't seen anybody find those yet. Uh, it looks like all I'm seeing is different. But good day to come to Ross. X Men carded figures plus Beast Man. Let's just peek here. Don't see anything. Anything down this way? I think that's going to do it, guys. But yeah, X Men retro cards. And now we've got Masters of the Universe Beast Man. Everything else looks to be about the same, but if I do see anything else, I'll let you see it. If not, we'll see you at the next. We are back at the Browns Mill Walmart here in Johnson City, and we're sneaking through the Garden Center. And we're going to sneak back to the toy section and see what they got. Let's see what we got. Still got the Bruce Wayne up there. Are they going to have me a Blue Boots? Nope. I want it. What might have Albano there if I can find him, or Albano. I could find him on clearance at some point. But the only way I get him though, all the Randy Ortons are gone. They still got like five of them down there. I wonder if they actually sold them all. There's some build a figures. What do we got? Oh, cool. It's Batman and Robin. There's Robin. Uh, Batgirl. First time seeing these things in a Walmart. And then Clooney. Huh, that's pretty cool. some individual pictures they got them all but poison ivy unless she's i don't see her up there i got a godzilla and kong which one is that that's the shimo and kong said or uh, godzilla said i haven't got that one yet i actually saw that for the first time i don't remember what walmart the other night but yeah pretty cool we'll set these up here with the names turned out so people might want them they can tell what they are. 
There's some more Godzilla and Kong up there. Poppy Playtime, plushies. It's like the big figs and then the mask for Kong. Oh, they got these, saw these this morning. Sabine and Paz, they got one of each of the new ones. We're skipping over some stuff though. If we got any other new Star Wars. Uh, they got Lando, the greatest Star Wars figure ever. Point Dread and Talon Fighter. I'm seeing much else down through here. Of course, I see stuff, but not anything different jumping out. We got a bunch of Mario figs stacked up there. Poppy Playtime, Rainbow Friends. We've been seeing that stuff a lot. Still no Five Nights at Freddy stuff, though. Uh, Batman. Oh, that's Poison Ivy. They got the whole set. And they got another case of them here, looks like. There's another Poison Ivy, another Batman, and another Batman. And then Blackest Night figures in the back there. Aquaman, Aquaman, Mr. Freeze fighting the Frozen back there. And there's some little plushies. That's kind of cool. I got some new stuff here today. What else we got up there? I got a Robin, but he's not a vampire. I still got all those troop transports up there. Some storage shell. Yeah, that's cool. I got the whole wave. I may put this down here with the rest of these. Just in case someone's looking for it, they can see they got all four of them there. And that's pretty cool. And they got the McFarlane Batmobile too. I already got that thing though. I think that's the same price it was. It looks to me, if I'm not mistaken. A couple dark detectives, Black Adam figures. They got a spot for um, Damien and Owlman. They just don't have them yet. Um, some dinos, invisible jets. Got the little mini X-Men. Trying to look up top here, guys. There's so much stuff. There's the Randy Ortons. They got them all up top. Oh, yeah. They're stacked pretty deep up there. There's Randy. Uh, still got Siren. MJ. Ant-Man, Ant-Man, Ant-Man. Nothing too exciting here. Seeing all these at Black um, Panther. And I don't see Hulk and Thanos. Now, they were up on a top shelf here. When I found him here before. I think that was this Walmart. I don't see him now. They must have sold Hulk and Thanos. I just haven't gotten down to them yet. There's that Hulk. Which I think it's the same thing. I'm not 100% for certain on that. Uh, what else we got here? A bunch of movie star turtles. And they are the actual turtles. Sorry, but that's my fault. <laughs> There's some more Godzilla and Kong stuff. They got a bunch of it too. Uh, movie star turtle. I got a bunch of turtles up on the top shelf. Uh, Godzilla and Kong. There's the other two pack. I got a bunch of these. Man, is mine that heavy? Are they got any more? Shimo. And these are all Godzilla or Kong and the Scar King. I got what? One, two, three, four, six of those things. Meat and Mayhem Turtles. What's behind? Rocksteady back there. There's Monster Growl or whatever Battle Roar Kong. Three of those. I got the Metal Figs and I got the whole set. These things are awesome, guys. Awesome. Uh, and then it brings us to the end of the aisle. More Turtles up there. Nothing on the tops of these racks. But one thing I am seeing. Ch -ch -ch -ch, these tire boxes. We're going to try to peek over there and see what's in those. Oh, there's some though, right there in front of me. And more Godzilla and Kong down there. I missed all that stuff. They got the crystals. And they got more uh, Godzilla. And the Shimu thing. There's all three of your big figs. I may end up getting the big Kong. I don't know. Thinking about it. Not today, but eventually. But that's going to do it for this aisle, guys. We're going to check out some die cast. We're going to try to take a peek at the stock boxes. I do find anything else, I'll let you see it. If I don't, then I'll see you the next. Once again, Ross, Johnson City, Tennessee. 
let's run in here and see what they got has some awesome scores in greenville last night and bristol today so let's see what ross and johnson city has got peg wall i looked in the basket up front they got the same old stuff transformers and pops and that sonic the hedgehog dr abman thing but oh looky here more masterverse they got skele god and he is 5.99 that's pretty cool we might hang on to that and got those two packs there of Dragon Ball. They got, I don't see any X Men just scanning down through there. Um, Transformers, they got the 18 wheeler remote control truck. Still 24, no reduced on him. Got those Batman Joker two packs. There's another Skelly God. Let's see which one's in. They're both about the same shape. Those are pretty cool to see. I might wait on that. If somebody grabs him, it'll be a sign. I don't need him. Gundams. I think those two are different. There's that one. I think somebody just moved these down from the peg wall down to here. Back there's another one. Several Gundam. Dilophosaurus. Batman thing back there. Flash. Nerf. So yeah, some more cool Master uh, Master's Universe Revelation Masterverse stuff here, but let's do see anything else and wait at the register, I'll show it to you. If not, then we'll see you the next. Hello YouTube, my name is Chris. You just watched another toy hunt video from the man collects and let's wrap this thing up. Wrapping up another week of toy hunting. One week more week in the books leading into the hunt weekend. And what a toy hunt it was guys. A lot of good stuff found in this one. I mean almost every store I went to was a hitter. But let's wrap this one up. It's already almost an hour long. Thank you to everyone for watching the video. And if you have enjoyed the content make sure to hit that like button. But what stores did you see me in? We saw me in a bunch of Walmarts and some Ross stores. We saw me in Walmart stores in Lebanon, Virginia, Abingdon, Virginia, uh, two of them in Johnson City, Tennessee, and then the Walmart in Bristol, Tennessee. You also saw me at Ross in Johnson City. I was there twice this week, and then Greenville, Tennessee, and Bristol, Virginia. So, all these stores we went to, all these Walmarts, all these Ross stores, what took the title of Store of the Hunt? Store of the hunt for this video, was it a Ross? Ross had a resurgence in this video. Found some good stuff at Ross this week. Or in this video here, but no, it was not enough to put it over the Walmart on West Market Street in Johnson City. Store of the hunt. Why was it store of the hunt? Because I found the vampire Robin there. Anyone who's watched my channel for any bit of time knows I like to get all the DC vs. Vampires, you know, DC Multiverse uh, figures. They're all Walmart exclusives. So we were hitting Walmart trying to find it, and we found Robin. Uh, you can see here behind me, I've got Vampire Green Lantern here. I've got Vampire Batman standing there. So you know, i got to get Robin to complete the set. i got Superman and all the others here somewhere, Joker. And I think that's it off the top of my head. I don't know. But anyways, they found Vampire Robin there. They also had the other Walmart exclusive, the Owlman figure. Um, all kinds of Godzilla and Kong stuff. Guys really digging the Godzilla and Kong uh, toy line. They look great. They're very affordable. Except for those little hidden earth crystal monster blind bag things. Those kind of are overpriced. But anyways, everything else is pretty cool. And they had the big remote control like heat breathing, fire breathing, Godzilla, whatever it is. That thing is cool. And it was only $45. I could have swore that thing was $59.99 at Target. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. But it was only $45 at that uh, Walmart. So that was pretty cool to see what else do they have there oh the leonardo fuggler i forgot about that um a lot of people are, are seem to be interested in these teenage mutant ninja turtle fugglers that are coming out um so far i've seen donatello and this store is the first one i saw leonardo but you also saw in the video i found leo again i think at what the bristol tennessee walmart i don't remember but i did see him one more store so they're starting to hit if you haven't seen them yet and hopefully uh, Raphael and uh, michelangelo will come along here pretty soon but let's talk about a top three. We talked about a store of the hunt. What was the top three coolest things that I saw? To be quite honest, guys, I thought about expanding this one. We saw a lot of cool stuff. I mean, I saw some good stuff at Ross this week for one, so I just want to give a, a shout out to Ross. My area had been kind of dead and kind of slow a little bit, but I'm addicted to that store. I can't help but to keep going in just in case you catch something, and we did find some stuff there this week, but did any of it make it into the top three? Yes. Number three, and once again, it's more than three. I got more than three figures in the top three. The X Men retro carded Marvel Legends way we found at the Bristol, Virginia Target. 
a target. <laughs> Ross. That is the second time I have found that entire wave in one Ross store. We found him in the Johnson City Ross here before Christmas, and now we found the whole wave again at the Bristol, Virginia Ross. But you got Wolverine, Dark Phoenix, Spiral, Multiple Man, Long Shot, and Avalanche. The whole wave was there. Awesome to see those figures. That is a good looking wave of X Men figures, I have to admit. And they look even better when they're $5.99. So it was cool to see those again. I've already got those figures, so I didn't pick them up. I left them there at that Ross. Hopefully somebody got those and got a collector got them, not a scalper or something. But it was cool to see those once again. But then we get into the back of that store and they got some Motu. So this also gets squeezed into number, I guess this is number 3A, the Beastman Motu we saw there. And then the Ed Skella got at the Johnson City Ross. So the Ross finds take the number 3 spot in this video for the coolest things that I saw. Oh, the, uh, it was in the video, but again, in case you skipped it for whatever reason, the Beastman and Skelegod are $5.99 at Ross stores if you haven't seen them yet. Now, number two. What took the two spot for this video? Well, the two spot is also more than one figure because it is the Batman and Robin Build-A-Figure wave. And the reason I've seen it before, I probably had this in the top three before, but this is the first time seeing it at a retailer other than Books of Man or GameStop. We found it at Walmart, so it's pretty cool to see it show up now at some regular stores. Um, Target, I've seen other people finding it at Target before Walmart, but my area is Walmart got it first. So it was cool to see that there. They had the whole wave. Um, I'm trying to think. They only had singles of Robin. I think singles of Robin, Batgirl. Same thing we see in other stores. There's like three or four Batman and then one each of Robin, Batgirl, and Poison Ivy. But they had them all there at the Browns Mill Walmart. I really enjoyed that figure wave. The figures, he did really good. Most of the time on the, some of the movie figures, they're really hit and miss on the likeness. I think he did pretty good on the Batman and Robin figures for McFarlane Toys. So that takes my number two spot. Seeing those four, I guess five figures, if you count Mr. Fleas, in the Walmart there in Browns Mill. And now that leads us into... Uh, Number one. What was the number one coolest thing? I mean, come on, guys. If you watch my channel, you know I'm a fan of these DC Vampires figures. Number one is Vampire Robin. And I got a little story about him we'll talk about in the toy haul. But, again, I like to try to get these Walmart exclusives. The Vampire figures are my favorite. Um, I got to say, the last few releases, he was the hardest to track down. It took me the longest from the time I seen him starting to hit. But they had, like, what, six of them there at that Walmart? And now if you get on the app, it's showing to be in stock and all these other Walmarts around me. They just don't have them out yet. But Vampire Robin does take the number one spot for the coolest stuff I saw in this hunt. Now, let's do our toy haul. Give time for the graphic to flash here. What did we buy in this video? We're going to start off by giving another shout out to one of my good friends I have made from this YouTube journey. That is Vlad the Impeller. Uh, Mike sent me some stuff. He found Vampire Robin before I did, and he was good enough to pick me one up. We're going to do a little swap, so I'm going to send him something in exchange for this Robin. But the one I held up, this is the one that Mike boxed up and sent to me. Thank you again very much, uh, sir. I appreciate you sending this. The package that you've got yours in here is better than the one I got, because let you know I've got two of these. I did pick up one from that Johnson City Walmart because with these, as you can see behind me, they're open. I like to open one of the vampire figures and I want one in box. So now I've got that. Mike provided me with one and I got one here to open as well because like I said, the one he sent me is in much better shape than the one I found. But again, if anybody's wanting to know what it looks like, there's an up close shot of it. I'm sure you're seeing it in your stores, but we got the vampire. Now, he not only sent me Vampire Robin, he also put me a little extra in there. He got Jennifer Lawrence Mystique figure. So, you know, the first uh, female superhero in a, in a movie, what, what did she say? She said something along those lines. Jennifer Lawrence did. A little slip of the tongue in an interview that she was like the first female superhero or something like that. You know, forgetting that Rebecca Romaine played this character before her. You know, Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. Helen Slater played Supergirl and a thousand some more female superheroes before this one. But again, she was great in the X-Men movie. She played Mystique. This is a cool looking figure. Appreciate that, Vlad. Man, I'll get this over here on the shelf with the rest of my legends. Now, the other stuff that I picked up, I did pick up Skelegod. I went back and forth on getting this, guys. I don't really collect a lot of Motu, but I did enjoy most of the Revelation show. It wasn't the greatest thing, but I liked the part when Skeletor got the sword and got the power or whatever you want to say there. So this is a cool-looking figure. I chased this at Walmart for quite a while when it was on clearance. It got down, to, I think, to 20 or 25 bucks at the Greenville Walmart. I can't remember what the actual retail even was, but it never dropped below that, so I'm glad I waited because we got it now for $5.99. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to open it or what, but I did pick up Skelegod. 
one more pickup from this hunt guys and this is a big one so i'm going to try to get it over here so you can see it the best you can i'm going to break this thing out of the box and put batteries in it and see what it does but i did get the big godzilla i can't see if you can see it on camera i can't even see my camera right now or my screen where is it there it is yeah you can kind of see it there but this thing is cool it is enormous for 45 i'm sorry for 45 bucks I'm going to give it a chance. If this was any other figure line, this thing would be $100. But again, they got it at 45 bucks. It looks cool. It looks a lot better than the smaller scale Godzilla figures they got for the Godzilla and Kong. So we did pick this up. And again, I'm, I'll do a short on YouTube or something once I get him out of the box and we see what he does with that controller. But that is it, guys. That is the hunt. Top threes, the store of the hunt. The haul, everything we got. Again, appreciate everybody watching. I hope you've had a great week. But let's talk about social media and where you can find The Man Collects. If you go to Instagram, you can find The Man Collects. But if you go to the About page on YouTube, description to this video, the splash on the screen, it'll show you where to find The Man Collects on Instagram. So look me up on there and give me a follow, should you choose to do so. And then we have the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. If you are a first-time viewer to this content, you have come back some several times and have yet to hit that little subscribe button, consider clicking subscribe and seeing what comes down the pipe on the YouTube channel. Sorry if I'm off a little bit in this one, guys. To be honest, I'm fighting off a head cold here. I'm on the back end of that trying to get that out of my system, so... With all that being said, we're going to wrap this up. Hope you've had a great week. Hope everyone has a great weekend. And the Man Collects will see you back here 12 noon on Monday.